Those who've been following me for some time probably know that I usually buy my components from Mauser. But well, recently I got a new customer and we needed some parts from China which Mauser didn't have. And so we got in bed with these people and now I wanted to show you how LCST ships, how it works and what my experience with this first order here was. So obviously the first question first, how long did it take? Here you see when I ordered the part and here you see the actual shipping history on FedEx. And what's interesting is that after ordering the parts, I got an email telling me that the shipment will be delayed a bit. So Mauser in this case, normally they split it up into two, which LCSC doesn't do. Well, you see, shipping was done by FedEx and quite incidentally, this arrived at the same time as when I also got a Mauser parcel. But the difference is Mauser just sends a box, whereas they use these FedEx envelopes. So let's cut inside. And here we see the actual box with the products. And just in case anybody of you wonders about this sequence, LCSC is part of an entire group of companies which also make PCBs and a variety of other things. Either way, we see here, that's the box. And we have here the size, B1. And let's tear inside. The box, by the way, is quite sturdy. So I'm probably gonna recycle this one to send something to the customer. And ta-da! Number one, we have here the codec IC. And we have a packing list, as you see here. And then here we have the second packing list and some more codex and also some ESP32 modules, which I bought because they were much cheaper than the ones from Mauser. And quite incidentally, we got two packing lists and that explains also because we had two warehouses involved, as you saw in the email before. And well, you know, I'm a bit of a hobgoblin for consistency and the quality of the labels for me is very, very important. And I have to admit, I find these to be quite clear. I mean, not quite as clear as the ones from Mauser, but other vendors, cuff, cuff, arrow, cuff, cuff, do a significantly worse job than LCSC. I mean, it's pretty clear what I'm having in what box. If they would change the size of the fonts to make the MPN a bit bigger, I'd be happier, but this really is something I can live with. And yeah, inside we find this normal cut tape containing the components, which we can use either for a pick and place machine or for hand assembly. And of course, the ever obligatory question of how much it cost. Here on the screen, you see the shipping choices and FedEx essentially was the cheapest of the fast services. The other ones would have taken weeks and weeks to arrive. And the thing is, of course, normally with FedEx, you are responsible for the customs. But sometimes mistakes happen. And you see here, in my case, a terrible mistake took place. So the customs costs were a little bit lower. And of course, because this is terrible and poor EU bureaucrats not getting any champagne would break my heart, you absolutely always need to be very careful to tell the vendor that they must always put in the honest and true customs declaration. And then finally, let's answer the question why the ESP32 you see here was so much cheaper at LCSC than at Mauser's. The answer for that is actually pretty simple. When you buy a component from a distributor, especially something like five or six pieces or everything which isn't a full reel, you don't really pay for the components. You mainly pay for the guy who picks it up 
takes a scissor and cuts the piece off and puts it in a bag. And these labor costs, of course, are much, much lower in China than they are in the US or in Europe. And this essentially is how a company such as LCSE can provide significantly better prices to its customers. Of course, in some cases, they also have logistical benefits, such as here. This part is basically made next door. And finally, in some cases, when there is a very common part, such as a voltage regulator or something like that, in some cases, LCSC use a locally made Chinese part rather than the American or the European one. These parts can be as good or they can be better or they can be worse. But this is another topic. It's mainly a compliance topic and it's one we will be looking at at another date in the future. So, and to come to the final question, would I work with them again? The answer is simple. We need this chip. Without this chip, Elysia's system doesn't work and I need to buy it somewhere. So I have not much choice. But actually, LCST have been treating me very, very well. So it definitely is a company which is legit and which definitely will ship you the stuff you pay for. So if you find something attractive with them, definitely give it a shot. And as for the question what you should buy from Mauser and what you should buy from LCSE, that's another topic for another day. But as you see, my facility is a bit flooded currently, but it's now ready. So I might have a video on that pretty soon. For now, thank you very much and see you next time.